Hey everyone, how you doing? It's your boy Mike Jones, Healthy Traveler here. I've been in Bangkok now for about a month. Like I said, just moving back from good old Nicaragua. Um, I'm gonna get you in on some little secrets of how to find an apartment in Bangkok. Okay, I don't know if you know or you may not know, Bangkok is a big ass city. And finding an apartment here can be such a headache, so you know, in Chiang Mai, it was pretty easy. So I was able to kind of, you know, just kind of go into apartment complex I like. I'm like, hey, kind of look at it. Okay, here's some money. It's yours. Thanks. Bye. You know, it was very easy. Um, same kind of applies here, but there's just so many options. It's like you have to pick which area do you want to live in. Do you want to live close to the BTS? Do you want to live far away from the BTS? Uh, do you want to live further away from the city? So there's a lot of different options that you have, you know, when finding an apartment. In Bangkok, I mean, you can have a budget of... 4,000 baht up to 100,000 baht, you know, it's kind of up to you or how you want to live. You know, I, I feel I'm um, staying in the, the range of, you know, anywhere between 15 and 20,000 baht, which ranges for about, mm, about four to $500 a month. You're gonna get a pretty good, um, actually a, a very nice um, apartment that, you know, you can call home. So when looking for an apartment, I would always say, get an agent, number one. Again, they're going to help with the headache of trying to locate um, apartments, contacting owners, trying to set up times. It can be such a headache. So first and foremost, get an agent. It's the easiest thing to do. And the thing is, it's absolutely free. You know, the, the owner actually pays the agent. So there's no cost to you. So the only thing you have to do basically is just show up and pick which one you like. And number two, always remember to negotiate. The big thing here in Thailand, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Throw something out there. What's the worst they can say is no. Then you go back and somehow you guys try to meet in the middle. I mean, that's how I've got my apartments in the past. I went ahead and negotiated. I've gotten great prices for them. I've, I've been happy. The owner's been happy. So it's a win-win for everyone. And tip number three, it is all about location, location. And did I say location? Yes, all about location here in Bangkok. You know, you can either live, you know, in the city center where, you know, it's hot, it's happening, restaurants, uh, you know, clubbing, nightlife, everything is there. Or you can stay a little bit outside the city where you're gonna get a little bit more bang for your buck. See, I noticed when I was looking at uh, apartments that were in the city center, I noticed they were so small. I mean, if it was an apartment near the BTS, the SkyTrain, it was teeny tiny, <clears throat> probably about 28 square meters, which is really, really small. And you know, another thing about living in the city, it's the city, you know, it's gonna be a little bit more hot, it's gonna be a lot of traffic, it's gonna be a lot of people, so it's a lot going on. So you know, you gotta put that, you gotta think about that too as well when living in the city. For myself, I chose to live a little bit outside the city. You know, I'm a type of person who likes to be close enough, but still far away. You know, so I was able to get a little bit more bang for my but my apartments up bigger, and I'm still close to the BTS. So, you know, it's your your catch twenty two when it comes to that. Again, you can get city life, you can have it all. You're you're right there, but your apartment's gonna be tiny, or you can live a little further out where you can have a bigger place, still by the BTS, but it takes maybe like 15, 20 minutes to get in the city. So, it's up to you. Okay, so this concludes our video of how to find an apartment in Bangkok. Again, make it easy on yourself. Get an agent. Think about your, lo your location you want to be in. And remember, always negotiate. All right, this is your healthy traveler, Mike Jones here. Always wanted you guys to remember to be well and travel often. Oh, don't forget to subscribe up high and down low. See you next time.